real ones, my real ones, my real ones. Run it up with my real ones, run it up with my real ones. Coming up with my real ones, coming up with my real ones. I only fuck with the real ones, real ones, my real ones, my real ones, my real ones, my real ones. Run it up with my real ones, my real ones. You feel me? No FEMA, no none of that shit. What a nigga be talking about, I don't know what the fuck a nigga talking about. A few niggas got that. Everybody ain't get that shit. For the most part, we was still in, so we still in survival mode. Man, we got PTSD, niggas walking around it. The, oh, the murder rate still high to this day, cause niggas was two, three years old living in shelters. And a the nigga, them same National Guards that's coming down here for this corona shit, was walking around them with the AR-15s on them. You feel what I'm saying? Strapped up on them. These churn grew up thinking it was at war. You feel what I'm saying? Like, they had to fight to survive. I'm living around a hundred other people in a fucking shelter for years. Uh, you know what I'm saying? No matter how long they had to be in, it was a hotel, a shelter, wherever you had to go. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's what it was. It was more like, I'm not about to live like this. I just come from fucking glory. You feel me? It might look like we ain't had nothing, but that was everything yeah. to us. You know what I'm saying? I don't be for rappers, nigga. Welcome back. I am Ayo Canseco, fearless leader of Ayo Nation and the Men 2 Movement. And this is the step down. Today I had to come holler at y'all, man. I had to come tap in with one of the realest out the city. You know what I'm saying? Much respect, much respect. You know, y'all done seen him on the show plenty of times. Uh, real lyricist, you know, really one of the people who, when I was just really trying to get it in people's head that you have to be talented to get on the platform, really one of the people who really set that ball up there, man. Noon Orlean, man, in the building, man. Respect. Speak to him, man. Respect. Noon Orlean, welcome to Noon Orlean. You feel me? Mob living. I'm the general of that. You feel me? We all generals, but I'm the general of that. You feel me? Right now, I'm rocking with the big homie A.O. Consigo, the fearless leader of A.O. Nation. You feel me? And we've been rocking before all this, right? You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Definitely. You know what it is. I had to come tap in, man, because there's a lot going on with this corona shit and everything like that. First off, I don't even know if I want to start there. I want to start, you know, with, cause I'm just, you know, we done rolled around New Orleans, I feel like, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. And and even right now, like, tell the people where we at right now. Well, right now we're in a 12, we're in a 12 or uptown New Orleans. You feel what I'm saying? It's my home, it's my hub. You know what I'm saying? This, 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 this what made me. This is who, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, noon New Orleans. When you say noon, you got to put that 12 on that too, but we ain't talking about no police though. You yeah, know what yeah, saying? yeah. You feel me? They get that confused. So, so you saying, so, your name, where did you get your name from anyway? Yeah, that, 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 that's the yeah, My name been known since forever. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Since a child. That's what they call me, the old hood. Even in school, teachers call me that. You yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? You know what I'm saying? So my name was Noon the Youngin. You know what I'm saying? Up until I became too mature to carry that youngin. youngin. Name, you feel what I'm saying? So when I when I really I fell back and I and I and I really had to think what I offered to the game, what I offered to myself. All I could give you is my world. You feel what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So Noon Orleans is me giving you me. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? That's all it is. And see, so that, that really is a thing because certain artists will take that young for their whole career. You know what I'm saying? And, and you might want to. Definitely. Definitely. Change is always speaking of change. We could talk about the coronavirus, but I want to talk about the big change that you spoke about when, because a lot of folks, I ain't never heard nobody say this. What happened with Katrina? All we heard from around the world, all we heard about New Orleans was niggas is raping bitches in the Superdome and, and killing each other in the Superdome. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, but right, right. you know, and and Bush blew the levees up and shit like that. But when you spoke about the way New Orleans was before and after, like that was crazy. So just tell them what you know, like happened with Katrina and after Katrina. Yeah. I mean, for the most part, before Katrina, you had a, a like I was telling you, a close-knit, family-oriented type community. You couldn't okay. go past another block without seeing 50 niggas on one block, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Like this corner right here, you'll see seven, they had a basketball goal right here, 70 niggas right here. You go down the street, they got 70 more niggas down there, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Nothing to do with each other. Yeah, yeah. We know all, we all family, we all know each other, but that's a whole nother world, you feel what I'm saying? Mm. We talk different, we dress different, we move different. You feel what I'm saying? I mean, it's tribal, you feel me? So, when Katrina happened, it split all that up. So now you got a part of your tribe and a whole nother 
part of the city mm. and, and the other half somewhere in another state up. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. You know, so it ain't been the same since Katrina, but the unity, we learning how to cope with it, with, you know, what we giving right now. You definitely, feel what I'm saying? definitely. And, and just with the way it look, I want to give, I'll make sure I give y'all a, a, a round the way look at, at you know, the houses, like they, they beautiful. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah. this, this is beautiful. Fucking but right. so a person may get fooled into thinking uh -huh. that they in a whole nother place. See, you're still in New Orleans. Yeah. You feel me? I don't give a fuck. If it look like the White House, you better not stand right there too long. You know mm. what I'm saying? It's real. Cause it don't matter where you at. When you down here, it don't matter where you at. What it look like is walk for real. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and what is and what is it like? What what? Cause you told me like it wasn't really no game down here. Game, so like, game. so so what? So what? What is like? What what this about? Like what what is about? Like why is this still? Is it just a regular dope money whole shit or just? Oh, nine times out of ten, it ain't even about no money. I mean, that might have a little bit to do with it, but a lot of this shit be tribal. Niggas been beefing since '95, '96, '90s. It don't die. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. So a nigga, like I was just telling you about the gentrification shit. We in yeah. different parts of the city. You might run across a nigga you ain't seen in 10 years. You know what I'm saying? A nigga that killed your brother and y'all in a whole nother part of the city. You feel what I'm saying? And yeah. It's just, that's just what happened. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So yeah. it, it, it's just a lot of shit niggas still carry, you know, around with them and, and, and you know, it be hard to let go when, I you know? I God. And, I, and that, that, that's so real and I, I'm working on that myself deal with when you feel played, like that should be hard to sleep sometimes. Ah, right, see, really? feeling played oh. is the number one killer for African Americans in America. Yeah. Feeling played, the moment a nigga feel played, you yeah. gotta feel him, you know what I'm saying? For real, talk, it, it be hard to sleep, man. Like you just play with me, my nigga. Like mm -hmm. you might think I'm a hoe. Come on, but man. you know, when you when you get something, you, you know, you got more to lose, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you slower to act. Like right. you, it right. really is, so I wanna ask about it too. With all of these people, you know, New Orleans is, is pretty much what is synonymous with, with the music industry. Mm -hmm. You know, we got P and even before P, who was um uh niggas had the um like did the bounce music come before P? Yeah. Or, or it was already in the city that but the world hadn't known about it yet. The world ain't know about it. Yeah. Honestly, the world still don't know about it. Cause mm. we been getting from bounce right now. It's big freedom. It's big freedom. Yeah. And no disrespect to <laughs> nobody yeah, yeah. lifestyle, but yeah, yeah, yeah. getting that. Yeah, yeah. Homo type, no, I, yeah, that's yeah, what they promote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what yeah, they do. I ain't knocking them. You feel me? But yeah, the, yeah. The, the original bounce rap was gangsters, was killers, mm. rapping over a bounce beat. It was the tempo. It wasn't you bouncing your ass, it was a bounce mm. rhythm. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. They switched that out for, you know what I'm saying? Manipulating the mind. And, you know, yeah. now you got four, five year old girls on the corner shaking their ass you know and you ain't got no answers See, for yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. See? And we ain't even gonna go that way. We gonna just keep it straight way that we got it, you know. But as far as you know, y'all got you know, P obviously the hot boys mm -hmm. and um let me let me be on young greatness. Mm -hmm. Respect. Just let me let me speak on if 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 it's possible, with that greatness situation, like that was just the same New Orleans shit, like they just feel played and just Personally, yeah. I don't know. I can't really, you know what I'm yeah. saying? I don't know. No details. Mm. Much respect to Big Brother. He was one of the niggas that made it out. You mm -hmm. feel me? That made it out the trenches. And anytime you could do that, I don't give a fuck. Where you from in my city? I salute that. Because it's hard, man. We wake up trying to survive every day. You mm. feel what I'm saying? So if you can make it out this bitch, man, I ain't got nothing but love for you. You know what I'm saying? Keep going, brother. But with that situation, um, I don't know the personal details, but at some point, you know, like boost it, like everybody from Louisiana say, you got the lead because some of your ghosts follow you. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. And, 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 and. Sometimes leaving ain't an option because a nigga could follow you anywhere, you know? Yeah. But for the most part, it's about how you carry yourself when you get in that limelight. You feel what I'm saying? And I ain't speaking on greatness per se. I'm yeah, speaking yeah, I on, you know, yeah, yeah, know, you, yeah, yeah, you know I what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, because real recognize it right back. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, and, and. A lot of niggas, they get on these songs, they dissing niggas subliminally, and you know, you might not know what he talking about, but the nigga who he talking about so know what he dude, talking about, you know talk. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, and the, it be like that. Was, the nigga that was right there know about that shit. Let's speak on this right there, because it gotta be spoke on. Mm -hmm. What I wanna know about, man, it, how much difference is it between the Baton Rouge and New Orleans culture 
what you saying, you know, it, with you know, we was in third one mm -hmm. in the beginning, then we, you know, see it right across through the twelfth, and I just had to see what's going on down there, bitch. Mm -hmm. You know, so we roll around, but you said it's different between street to street. So with Baton Rouge and New Orleans, they having a lot of success right now. Is it a disconnect? What's going on with that? And with their music, it's like they come straight at it. They they damn near the baby Chirac or some shit yeah, like that. Right, so right, right. like. What, what's what's up with that? Like, you know what I'm saying? With y'all, I mean, differences or what else? Like, how far away is it, first of all? It's about an hour away, 45 okay. if you're a flyer, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I mean, fuck, less than that if you really, you know, can maneuver how you know how to maneuver, but it's a big difference. It's a real big difference, you know what I'm saying? But um, I'm going to see the mentality is still the same around Louisiana, you mm. know what I'm saying? Louisiana. Niggas gorillas everywhere, you feel what I'm saying? But when you cross them twin spans or when you cross that binding carry, you know what you're coming into. See, this is different. This is an island. You got to cross a body of water to get you. You feel me? Mm. When you, a nigga from New Orleans, if you be like, you're from Louisiana, he going to be like, no, I'm from New Orleans. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, we we connect with everybody, but we so different. They'll tell you that. You yeah, feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's a whole nother lifestyle. We way more fast paced. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I mean... So why is them niggas so, why are they so murder, murder, kill, kill? And, oh, it's and, like that. I ain't taking yeah, nothing away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like that for real. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, fuck, like I say, Louisiana niggas gorillas. It's like that everywhere across yeah, Louisiana. Yeah, yeah. But this, a different breed of nigga. You feel what I'm saying? When you come to New Orleans, I mean, the mentality just so raw. Like, anybody get it, it ain't no picks or choosers. It ain't no rap beef. Like, niggas rap beef, mm -hmm. but it don't last long. You feel me? It's small. You talking about a nigga down the street. You gonna see him tomorrow. You feel mm. what I'm saying? Like some of them dudes be 30 minutes away. Be, you know what I'm saying? They could rap beef. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, For yeah. real and, yeah. not, and not feel threatened. You feel you me? You ain't lying though, dog. Because when I think about that shit, you ain't lying though. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like niggas can say some name. Like that's that's some real shit though. And so what about the the, the success? Like do you feel like New Orleans had a time? Now it's Baton Rouge time. It's their turn. Respect, okay. man. I, okay. I salute them having a the torch because they need their voice. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It ain't like that they ain't got nothing to say. Them dudes been through shit too. Like I said, it's the trenches up there. It's just a different kind of trenches. Mm -hmm. I don't mean no disrespect when I say they're a little bit more country than we is, but this yeah, is a little bit more city oriented than you feel is, what I'm saying? That's what it On is. On some shit, that's you know? You know, country is country and city is city. Like this shit is definitely a city. Like we was in an alley just a minute ago. Yeah. I ain't never been no alley in my life. Yeah. Like that shit. You know what I mean? You looking on the ground, you looking for heroin needles and shit like that. And that's what I'm, I'm so glad that, you know what I'm saying, I got my shit together to where now I can actually lead a state, man. Real. And respect, and, and, you know what I'm saying? And, and be able to do that, man, because now I can see the world and just experience different cultures and shit like that and ask these type of questions. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? With Because I, I really do feel like we need somebody around this bitch who can ask these heartfelt questions in a real way really? and you know because you know back to the success of, of artists and shit like that uh i remember earlier we were talking and you said mystical from up the street uh mm -hmm. what was what was mystical's team name because people is talking right now with this this uh infighting with um qc mm -hmm. offset and a uh, little baby the migos never had no entourage what was Mystical's team name. Did he have like I know he had Tarantula was his like That was an album name. Uh-huh. I mean I don't know Mystical for having the click. I just know some of the rap groups he was with. Who kept click like um I think that was Big Boy Records, you know what I'm saying? I think that was before he got with No Limit. And you know the No Limit situations was before he got with Cash Money. You know what I'm saying? But um as far as him like being mm. On a team or uh, having a, a a label, a group of his own. I don't, you know, I don't think yeah, he had. Like that. you know, uh, Juvenile had Wax. Yeah, you see, you know what I'm saying? And Salute BG, yeah, Wagon, yeah, Skip, yeah you know and BG. I heard, I heard Skip got a, a good food joint. I wish I would have came early enough to get some chicken that food, and watermelon. Man. Yeah, man, That's I, 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 I need some wing, man. Here said I come to show me the wing spot off the top. Yeah. Um, but you know, BG had Chopper City. Mm -hmm. Um, you know. I didn't, did Mystical have like some no, niggas he was that just he, doing his own thing, yeah. Did he try to put anybody on? I don't or? think so. I don't think so. And then, see, I was younger. I was a, you know what I'm saying? Mm. A child when they was getting their run. When I saw, when I got a glimpse of Mystical with my, for my first time, I went to, uh, they used to have these little concerts, Teen Summit, you know what I'm saying, in the Superdome. 
and all the big artists that come cash money and shit like that. And boys, no limit did Team Summit that year. And after they left, they went by P Mama House Cross Claiborne, and my uncle jammed up with them, so he took us around there. So I got to really see how these niggas operating off the mic and see them in real life. That motivated, that mo that day motivated me. I got to shake Mr. Cohen, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. My favorite rapper. Because he was saying what I, I, where I'm from, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then his lyricism, he all over the place. To me, he's still in my top five of niggas from New Orleans. Lyricism, uh, man, niggas can't Nick, touch you. Yeah, Nick, like, you can't, you, can't, you can't ignore that. You put on, if you can put on a nigga old song and still get that feeling. In 2020. Yeah, come on, man. <laughs> I smell smoke. Yeah, time, man. Time. You ain't got to be a smoker like that shit. It is. He told a story, oh, you know what I'm saying, with, with animation. That's why I fuck with DMX so uh -huh. hard, you know what Thanks. I'm saying? Like, Thanks. nigga put so much into this shit. Um, another thing I want to add, man, with the with the whole um, Texas and New Orleans, like, y'all got, like, a bond, kind yeah. of. Like, do, do y'all still have that link? Fucking or, right. Oh, yeah? Houston, my second home. Mm. I just left from Dallas, you feel what I'm saying? I was out there for, like, a seven-month stretch, you know. You know, mingling, doing a little bit. Shout out to everybody in Dallas. I love Dallas. I, I just fell in love with Dallas. Yeah. I, Katrina, I went there to the storm. That's what it was. You know okay. what I'm saying? But See, even before that, though, it seemed like New Orleans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Before that, man, I hear stories from my OGs. And nigga tell me Pimp C and Bum B used to be chilling at the barbershop up there on Forestry right at the corner. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, when I hear shit like that, that be motivating too. But, Definitely. You know what I'm saying? It was always a connection with uh, UGK in Louisiana, period, not just New Orleans, because, you know, they kind of like the reason why boosting them on. You feel what I'm saying? What, what, what keep that bond still? Because you still got people out there and shit like that. Like, what, what, what keep that so strong? Shit, that, for one, I still got family. My grandma's still out there. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. I, I got yeah. family out there for real. But, um, I started... My professional music career in Houston, after mm. Katrina, you feel what I'm saying? Uh, I was rapping at home, I used to battle niggas, shit like that, you know what I'm saying? I always had balls and shit, but that was just rap. I never recorded until I got to Houston after Katrina. And so you I only, were recording when you were battling? I wasn't recording down here. But when I, I never even seen the studio to after the storm, you know what I'm saying? Like a real studio. When I was recording in Houston, I bought my own equipment, put it in my apartment and done my thing, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I did a couple battles out there, some, you know, light shit, but... You know, nothing major. Yeah. I just was getting my feet wet. I ain't know I wanted to be an artist till I was watching CNN and a nigga was lying on me. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, saying that how we was living, raping, like we talked about earlier, raping and killing. So my first song was about addressing everything that, you feel me? So you that came out the gates you feel me? on some real That's shit. That's it. I, I came from the man, heart first and foremost. Talk about this, man. Like, with, with, with you being an artist who just ain't out here with the willy-nilly, not mm -hmm. with the system and shit like that, like, how, do you feel like that's affecting your career, making it go slower? Do you feel like it, you know it's gonna work out in the end? Do you feel like it's more money and murder, or what, like what, how you? Feel? I'm gonna keep it gangsta. Um, I've been offered 25 plus contracts. You know what I'm saying? Like until I knew what I was worth, I probably would have sold my life. I probably would have sold it all over. You know what I'm saying? For for a little bit of nothing, but. Once I start realizing how many people was into what I was doing and wanted to know what else I had going on, that made me know I had something to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You know, so yeah. I'm like, let me work on my craft. Let me work on me. And what's crazy is the whole time, like for years, like I said, when I first started rapping, I was battling and shit. I ain't know how to make a song. So my mm. first mixtape, when a nigga heard my first mixtape, they thinking I'm seasoned. This is just me putting a hook. This is my first time doing hooks. My first time doing a song with three verses. My first, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So that was me learning as I go. I ain't never had nobody to sit down and tell me, look, this is 16 or this is, you know what I'm saying? You had so to learn yourself. I had to break it That's down. Crazy. I had to break it down, That's bro. That's crazy. And, and you know, with that right there, man, what? Is it is it a song? Let, let's just get to the people. Like, is it a yeah. song that 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 you? What's what's the most? If they go on YouTube, like, what's the what do you feel like the song is that that represents you the most? You know what I'm saying? Right now, that represents you right here. You know what I'm saying? Years later, Wall. I could name a few. Um, I'm gonna say Wall for real, cause of the times we in. You know what I'm saying? And I did that song and what? 
07, 08. We probably dropped the video a little later than that, but the song been done. When you hear that song, you hear the youth in my voice, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. You hear me? But the message still the same. I probably had a more pure message back then, cause so much shit happened till then where I had to, you know what I'm saying? Focus on other shit. Back then it was just music. Music. You feel me? Back shit. then it was just the message. Shit. As far as the, um, this virus going on, man. What, like, what, what, what the virus then did, I don't even want to compare it to, to Katrina. I want to talk about Katrina. Before we get to Corona, I want to talk about Katrina because Damn. there's a lot of speculation. Like, niggas, because I remember even in Mobile, like, when the New Orleans niggas came to Mobile, like, niggas were getting laid the fuck down. Like, yeah. that shit was serious. Like, but niggas had to respect it in a way because they're like mm -hmm. you know that these niggas they lost everything that they got Dude. and shit like that so it kind of make you want to be standoffish mm -hmm. towards you know what i'm saying niggas who came like the, the refugees and shit like that like yeah. like this explain that mindset that nigga was in at that mm -hmm. time mm -hmm. and for one that's what started the conflict when a nigga called us refugees you mm -hmm. feel me we from american soil you know what i'm saying a refugee is somebody from another country yeah. seeking refuge yeah. into your yeah. country you yeah. feel what i'm saying so yeah. when cnn called us refugees that pissed us off mm -hmm. you feel what i'm saying like Y'all got buses, y'all got all this shit sending people across America. They don't know where they going, Las Vegas and Nevada. People I ain't never see to this day. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, and y'all sugarcoating it on the news and making it seem like it's our fault. Like, we the reason this bitch flooded. You feel me? Like, man, if you look at CNN through that, they looking at us like we was the problem. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They had the camera on niggas dying for real. You feel me? They was watching niggas die on camera, bro. Mm. You feel me? Niggas on the roof and you in a helicopter. I don't give a fuck if you work for a new. You see yeah. somebody dying, my nigga. You feel what I'm saying? So fuck America. That's how I feel. And I live like that. I don't give a fuck. Man, it's an American man, it's a law in America that tell me as a black man that I'm not even a citizen of America. I put that on my soul. We not even citizens of America. You feel me? Like, we not. So that showed me that I wasn't, you know yeah, what I'm saying? And I've been living like that since then, so. Cause, cause you know, Marco was telling me that the, 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 the levees and all that shit ain't even bust until the storm was gone. It like, was what, gone. What was up? Like a day or two after the storm, it was sunny. Like I, I was sitting on a porch on my own steps. My great grandmother on the porch, I'm sitting on the steps, you heard me? Um, I'm, it's a sunny, beautiful day. I'm talking about 80 degrees, you know what I'm saying? It's hot, I got a white beard on, some basketball shorts and some fresh g Nikes I just bought the day before. Mm. Air Force One, we call them g Nikes. you hear me? Mm -hmm. But um, I'm sitting up there chilling, I'm cooling, and I start seeing water shoot out the drain, clear water. It ain't no dirty, what's clear water? Like from the levee, from, I mean from the lake or from the river or something, you know what I'm saying? So I'm looking and it's rushing fast. I'm talking about in a matter of 20 minutes, the shit hadn't reached the curb, it's coming up fast. You feel me? Yeah. And why this happening? I'm like, man, what the fuck going on? I'm thinking it's just like this block, that block, you know, the sewage problem or something, I'm, you know. I see my dude running up the street with a look on his face like he just saw that. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. And I ain't see him in years since I saw him. I was like, what's up? He said, man, I'm about to go run down here to Claiborne Street, which is like five blocks up. He said, I'm about to go see how high the water is and I'm about to get my family the fuck out of here. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. So I'm fucked up right now because back at that time, after the storm, this how I really was. Niggas had them went back to work and shit. Katrina was over. Niggas was at work. My family was at work. That's why nobody went home. Everybody was back to normal, man. We had them cleaned up the block. Katrina was gone, bro. You feel what I'm saying? So when the water came up, I'm telling you, a, a police officer swung around the corner with his dogs in his hand, two big ass boxes. A nigga told me, they just breached the levees. You feel me? A NOPD officer, they just breached the levees. He came, got his family, put him in the car, and got him the fuck out of here, you hear? That was my path, my word, that's all I needed to hear. I'm out of here, you hear? Got my family, but see, shit like that. Yeah, so crazy because like, I'm hearing that niggas had to leave with what they had on them, no time to pack, and that kind of put a nigga in the mindset of Corona shit, right? Bro, I left with the shit I had on. I made it to Houston, Texas with the clothes I had on on my back. Uh, when we left, when we walked through the water, the water was like chest deep, my nigga. You feel me? I left soaking wet, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We, it took about, what, 20 hours, 25 hours to get to Houston? That's five hours away. 
You know what I'm saying? So imagine all that on your mind. You don't know if you're gonna gas, you don't know if you're gonna stop, or you're gonna be able to make, we don't even know where the fuck we going, where we gonna go when we get there. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, it was real for real, nigga. Like we, man, we had to make every day count for real. Like every day we had to accomplish some shit to make sure that everybody was, my nigga, when I got to Houston and we finally got all my family out, all the Astro domes and shit where everybody was, we was 30 plus people living in a two bedroom apartment, my nigga. I slept in the closet. You feel me? My room was the fucking closet on the skinny ass M. And we had the, you know what I'm saying? A two bedroom apartment, 30 plus people with them line log take me, yeah? Damn. So, and a nigga, there's no way a nigga that is in Alabama could even understand it. All, all we saw was nigga come down that hole and nigga would not have it. You feel what I'm saying? Boy, you see what I'm saying? So I got 29 other people in my house and we gotta eat today. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's no disrespect to the nigga that I'm going to take this from. I don't know him. I just know we got to eat. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And yeah. man, look, I'm gonna keep it all the way gangsta. Nigga never said this, especially on camera, but for every nigga that we took down, I apologize. You feel me? You feel what I'm saying? I'm a man. Look, I apologize. You know what I'm saying? We went that war with the wrong motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Because when I did get to Houston, you heard me? Like I told you, I got that with the clothes on my back. I'm chilling in the living room. I get a knock on the door. You feel me? I don't know nobody out there. I look out the window. I see like three females. And I noticed them because they from around the apartments. I saw them like walking around or something, you know, like a day or something before, but they knock on the door. I open the door. They got bags of clothes, bags of toothbrushes, bags of just shit that they thought that we need. They went spent out their own pockets. You know what I'm saying? And it wasn't, I ain't never get government assistance. You know what I'm saying? Ever. You feel me? No FEMA, no none of that shit. What a nigga be talking about. I don't know what the fuck a nigga talking about. A few niggas got that. Everybody ain't get that shit. For the most part, we was still in, we still in survival mode. Man, we got PTSD. Niggas walking around it. The, oh, the murder rate still high to this day because niggas was two, three years old living in shelters. And a nigga, them same National Guards that's coming down here for this corona shit was walking around them with the AR-15s on them. You feel what I'm saying? Strapped up on them. These churn grew up thinking it was at war. You feel what I'm saying? Like, they have a fight to survive. I'm living around a hundred other people in a fucking shelter for years. Uh, you know what I'm saying? No matter how long they had to be there, it was a hotel or shelter, wherever you had to go. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's what it was. It was more like, I'm not about to live like this. I just come from fucking glory. You feel me? It might look like we ain't had nothing, but that was everything yeah. to us. You know what I'm saying? Shit. And, and do you feel like the the it's gonna be the same shit with the corona shit or, or what, how you feeling? Man, I'm gonna keep it all the way gangster. I feel the exact same way I felt before Katrina. You know what I'm saying? What's crazy, I feel like Katrina was practiced for this. I think that was dress rehearsal. You know what I'm saying? For this, it's way more deeper. The National Guard down here, the shit I be hearing now be crazy. The National Guard down here now, people don't even know that. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, they, they, they on some underhand shit trying to do it behind our back. I heard they came down first because they know that we going to start looting and going crazy if they really tell us what the mm. fuck going on. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you got to make people aware. You gotta inform people and let a nigga know what's really going on. Fuck if you scam or not, you gotta give them the truth. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Man, nigga need the truth. Stop hiding oh, the truth. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, and, and, and it, it just though, man, because you know, with, I ain't seeing nobody being sick, so it's hard for me to even think about the virus being Dude. real, but I know this response that we getting mm -hmm. from these soldiers and shit is something totally mm -hmm. different. But, it's real. But you know, I don't want to give y'all all that because we're going to go way too far with this shit. What I want to put y'all down on, New Orleans, when the project coming out? ASAP, brother, tell you the truth, it's done. You know what I'm saying? Okay. We about to bless the world with that in a minute. You dig? I dropped the first single, All In. That's on all streaming platforms right now. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's produced by my dude, Monaco, from way overseas, some fucking well. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Retarded. It sound like he from around the corner. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They could be like, what dude from? I'm like, man, look, that's a white boy. Mm. You hear me? They could be like, man, look, for real, for real. Dude, nasty. From Russia you know somewhere. what I'm saying? So, like I said, you, you shout out Monaco. Like, I, I'm, I'm rocking with it, dog. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, when it comes down to it, we're going to push this shit out and, and really try to make this shit out because we need this type of music, motherfucker. Like, they're real, understanding type music. And now me seeing how easy it is to get down this bitch, I'm definitely going to be down this bitch again. So we're going to get some more shit going on. My G. On. Respect. Much respect, brother. Man, you know that. Always love. I see you, baby. I know that. All right, brother.